Meanwhile, SpaceX's uphill trek to the stars continues with a minor setback on Saturday. After the company's ambitious Starship lost its core booster functionality mere minutes into takeoff. And this marks the second unsuccessful test flight for the Starship with the previous one earlier in April this year. The two-stage craft took off from SpaceX launch site in Texas. And eight minutes into the mission, however, a camera aboard the ship facing the core booster recorded an explosion take place. This coincides with the time Mission Control lost contact with the Starship at an altitude of 148 kilometers on its planned 90-minute uh, trajectory. The first stage booster, on the other hand, successfully executed the critical maneuver of stage separation at an altitude of 70 kilometers, only to explode over the Gulf of Mexico shortly after separating. SpaceX is yet to release data on the fate of the core stage. The second test flight's objective was to get the Starship into space just shy of making orbit, following which the craft would make re-entry and then a belly flop landing off the coast there. The launch had previously been scheduled for November 18th. However, it was postponed by a day to allow hardware swaps to the flight control systems. The U.S. Federal Aviation Administration confirmed mission failure and has plans to oversee a SpaceX-led probe. This marks the Starship and the Super Heavy Rocket Booster's second test flight failure this year in the wake of an earlier one in April that ended in an explosion four minutes into the mission.